Quill is just an absolute beast of a paper airplane designed by Will Barron. And it's actually a modified and improved version of his other plane, Rubicon, and it locks together in this three-dimensional shape, and it's extremely aerodynamic. And that means that I have thrown this plane over 180 feet as far as any other plane I have ever published to this channel. It's absolutely incredible. And even better, it's not that hard to fold. So let me show you this plane in flight, and then Will will teach you how to fold it. You can fold quill out of 8.5 by 11 inch or A4 paper. Today I'll be using A4 paper. We'll begin by taking the right edge to the left. Take your time here and make this first crease as symmetrical as possible. That'll really help your plane out. We'll open it up. And I want to take this top edge to center. But I'm not going to crease this. I'm just using this for measurement. Now I'll take my fingernail and put it right on this bottom corner here, hold it in place, and then I'm just gonna fold the paper back right on my fingernail, and then lay it down. And I'm just making sure the center crease and this center crease match up. And I'll crease across the top. Now I am gonna take this top edge to center, forming a triangle, and this time I'll crease it all the way down, and I'll match this side. Once I have that, I'll open it up, open the flap up. And now I want to take this, refold it down, but just the bottom half here, like this. And where this was a mountain fold, I want to make it a valley fold. I'm going to reverse it, just like so. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And I'll just push it down and reverse this crease here. I put my finger all the way into the inside, make sure that's creased all the way so we don't get any bubbling. Once I have that, I'm just gonna sandwich this down, squash it all the way down, matching up the center line to the center crease, and crease this. Plane should look like this. Once we have that, I'll turn it over. And I wanna take this edge, just the top flap, not the bottom, to center line. I'll make this a few marks here so you can see it on camera. That's the center crease. And I'm not going to go quite to center. I'm going to hold back one or two millimeters. If we hold back just a little bit, it'll make some future steps a little bit easier for us. There we go. Turn the paper over here. I'll rotate the paper and do the same thing again, matching this side. We'll open it up. Now I want to take this edge and land on that crease we just made. Now I like to hold back just a little bit so that you can fold back on itself. We will fold it just like this. And then we'll do it one more time, right to center. I'm gonna rotate it so I can see it a little bit. Making sure my edge is just shy of the center line and I'll crease that through. And I'll rotate the paper and do the same thing again. We'll open this up, take this edge to center. Center crease, I should say. And then we'll roll it over once. And one more time. I'm gonna open it up here and do a step that, you only have to do this if you're following along with um, A4 paper. If this is eight and a half by 11 inch paper, I would not need to do this. We'll take the tip and land it right on this, where this crease comes through. Take the tip and land it right there. And I'll rotate the paper and do the same thing here. This tip right to that crease. We'll close it up and we'll close up this side. Now I'm just gonna fold this top flap over on itself like this, leaving this flap down. Now my plan is to take this edge here and land it on the bottom of the plane. You can't see it on camera, but I can feel the bottom edge here through this flap. 
I'm gonna rotate it so I can see a little bit better. There we go. And I'm just working to keep this fold going all the way to center. There we go. I'm gonna rotate it and lay it down, pushing this flap out of the way. And I'll just roll this top edge over and match the bottom. So our wings are the same size. I'm gonna work on the tip just a little bit here. It's pretty narrow. Your plane should look like this. So I'm gonna turn it over, holding all the layers together and lay it flat on the table. I'm gonna actually turn it up so you can see this a little bit better. So I wanna keep these layers tight to the body of the plane. I'm gonna hold those with my thumb and forefinger. And then as I open this up, I'm gonna push the top edge right here to the bottom of the plane and I'm gonna sandwich that all those layers together, pinching with my thumb and forefinger, everything tight to the fuselage of the plane. And I'll push this all the way down here, kind of working my fingernails in to crease this nice. Once I have it nice and tight, I'm gonna keep the wings flat on the table and I'm gonna bend the fuselage over one side. What I've done is I've creased all these layers. I'm gonna rotate it and do the same thing on this side. All these layers are creased. Should look like this. Now. I'm going to take it and fold it over kind of work with my fingernail and I'm, I'm trying to get this paper to crease right around the edge of the wing. Take tip my finger there and I'll get it started. Once I have that started, I'm going to put some tension on it and lay it down, trapping this flap underneath the, the plane. There might be a little bit of, of some bubbling here. So if there is, just work it out with your, your finger. Now I want to take this edge and land it right along the edge of this wing. Um, and as we do that, you want to keep a little tension. I'm, I'm pushing on the plane and kind of keeping it tight to the side. Then I'll just take this and I'm going to crease it just like that. So it lands, this edge lands right next to that edge. And then once we have that, I'm going to fold it over one more time. And here I'm just pushing against the side of the plane and I'm working my thumbnail along here to crease this all the way to the tip. Once I have it in there, I'm gonna push it down tight and I'll do the same thing we did before. I'm gonna bend the fuselage over and that's gonna put a nice crease along here. All right, I'm gonna open it back up and I wanna take this. I'm gonna fold it back on itself just like this. That flap just folds back and where you're folding is, it's right where this piece of paper goes underneath the wing. That's a natural hinge point for it. And that's where we'll fold it back. And as we fold it back, I'm gonna open this flap up and just slip it right behind. Push it tight to the paper and compress it down just like that again. Now this side is gonna go over the top as it did before, just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and bend the fuselage over one more time to get another crease on it. And then we'll do the same thing we did before. We're gonna start this wrap around. I'm gonna start with my fingernail, get a bit of a crease started. Once I have it, I'll push it down tight. Make sure all the layers are pinched together. Any bubbling will work out. Rotate the paper here. I'm keeping tension. I'm holding this, all these layers together and I'm pulling this lap over. As I'm doing that, folding back on itself so that this edge lands right on the edge of the wing. And then I'm gonna fold it over one more time. Use the tips of my, my thumbs here to crease that in. And then I'm gonna fold the fuselage one more time over, holding all the layers tight, put a nice crease there. And then I'm gonna open it up and do what I did before. I'm gonna hinge it forward right at that point. And I'm going to fold this tip back just a little bit. See what I've done there? I fold it over and I put a crease on this flap. I'm going to hold that out of the way. So when we, our, our next plan is to, I'll use a pencil here to show you. We're going to open this up. And I want all these layers to slip in behind here. 
just like that. And that locks everything in place. You know, take a little time here. It's very narrow at the tip, so you want to use your fingernail to get all the creases right and compress everything. Flatten the wings. And there you have a finished quill. I find um, I, I throw it right behind all these folds, thumb and forefinger. This can withstand a very hard throw. Um, might need just a little bit of up elevator on the back, but very minimal. It should tune well. It flies nice and straight. I had a fantastic time showing you how to fold this. I hope you have fun flying it. Until next time, happy flying. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. I'm now releasing a new tier where you can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and join the foldable fleet today.